Well, hello everybody. I just wanted to confirm something. Basically, um, if you have a Digi Design 003, you know, Digi 003, it actually can work in the program called Reason 6. And what's pretty new about Reason 6 is that you can also record. So, that's one unique new handy thing with this amazing um, music production program. I have posted a link for you pretty much on this video and basically at the Avid website pretty much the company that's known to make the drivers for um, the DigiDesign products is that you're going to need like updated drivers and um, unfortunately I only know how to do this for the Windows. Maybe this is not a problem Mac. I'm not sure. I don't have a Mac computer. I wish I did. <laughs> Anyways, um, at the bottom of this link that I give you, it um, at the bottom of the page, I downloaded this one, the standalone Windows audio drivers, version 8.0.3. And um, it does not support that original inbox, though that's not what the whole point of this is. But basically, I downloaded this one, so pretty much it'll give you a file to download, and then of course you save it. And um, after you've done that, pretty much right here, you just extract the files. So you double click on it, you know, make sure you have a WinZip or maybe it's WinRAR that uses this, and then you run the exe. While the drivers are installing, it'll actually ask you to hook up and turn on your whatever DG Design products you have, except for the old original inbox. Anyways, I did my DG003, it's hooked up to the computer, and it has to be on while it's installing. And then it's probably going to ask you to reset the computer after. The next problem is, is most likely you're going to have this other issue when you're done installing the drivers. Basically, well, this is my version of Reason 6. It's a trial-full version. Anyways, um, if you install it regularly, it might install the default 64-bit. And what you need, especially for the Digi-003, is the installment for the 32-bit. Because the Digi-003 is a 32-bit. And if you have probably tried to hook yours up and you've seen a red X, on the preference audio section you know probably you recognized it but you see a red x but really what you want to do is use it for mic recording purposes also so basically what you do is, is you can always reinstall over itself again so what i did is i i create i create a shortcut here and then of course you can probably um rename it if you want in the meantime, so let's say install reason and make it, you know, 32 bits or something. So before you run it, you're going to have to, like what I'm going to do right now is go to the properties and um, at the end where the target box is, where all that information is on your stuff, you go to the end of it, you put a space and put backslash 32. So then I uh, apply to it and then OK. And then after that you just run, sorry, you run the shortcut instead of the original install exe file. And then you go through the same process and then you install it. And then most likely it's going to ask you to reset the computer. After you're done installing it, sorry I already did this so I'm not going to show it again. You pretty much, um, hold on there, pretty much will have this icon if you allow one to be at your desktop and it will say then reason 32, 32 bits. And once you open it up after you've installed the 32-bit version is of course you know create an audio track and then um, I already have one out here so basically actually sorry I kinda messed up here you're supposed to first go to edit 
and then preferences so go to preferences and in the preference thing go to the audio section and so make sure you the audio card driver you select is well online it's the ASIO Digi Design Driver. I don't have the rack, I have the regular one. And with online you can see that there is a green check mark instead of a red X. So now because I have that, it's already pretty much set up here. It's already working. Basically if I um snap my finger at the microphone here, it pretty much works and it's running through the digi 3 Oh yeah, just to make sure you remember to hook up your speakers to the digi 3 because the reason is not going to run through your regular computer speakers. Well, the audio output will then come out of your digi 3 So as a little testing right here, as I hit the record button, the digi 3 works. And then when I play it back, I play it back here with what's just recorded. The Digi 003 works. There you have it. So if you have a Digi 003, I was almost considering selling mine because I, for the longest time, I didn't know how to get mine to work. But I um, found a way, and for anybody else that is in the situation trying to get their DG003 to work. You could probably look for updated drivers like the link I sent you. And um, I'm also going to give you this other link because before I figured this out, I was looking for other drivers, which I didn't came across the recent one I just gave you. And I don't know if this helped attribute to it working, but basically, um, I'll also send you this link to these other drivers I pretty much downloaded for it. Maybe I'll help with other things. I went, scrolled down on the page, and then I went to Pro Tools Fireworks device drivers. I went to the 002 and 003 family drivers. And then I um, downloaded um, the one that works for me. There's the one for the Windows and the ones for the Mac. And maybe this will help else with something else. You know, as long as you can find, use the drivers that I sent you, pretty much for third-party compatibility, which is re Region 6 is one of those programs, then, you know, you can actually get it to work. So I hope this helped for anybody that's struggling with this problem. I know there's some people out there that are. Um, and, you know, don't waste your money if... But anyways.